firefighters. And uh, I, I'm building out a little time with you guys. I just want to ask, and maybe the answer is right now, who knows, but do you have a favorite memory of being with the food fighters at this stage? Favorite memory of being favorite? with food? Right here with you. Well, thank you. Uh, that is the biggest load of bullshit <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Totally fair. Um, God, there's a lot. That's hard to I, pick. I know. It's, it's, it's like you, favorite. Can, can, you, can you narrow it down? Like, like, best from like 2017? <laughs> Jenny uh, was Zeppelin? That was fun. Yeah, that was gnarly. You know, when we got back to go do shows again after a year of like wondering if we're, when are we ever, if ever, that was a, that was a, like a special like moment. When we did Madison Square Garden, when we first got to come back and actually start doing shows, that was, that was a magical one. That was a big one. Yeah, huge year in general, like playing Saturday Live the, the day that they announced the victory for Biden, that was it's difficult to imagine a song Taylor Hawkins can play, let alone a Fofaira song given his abilities. Hawkins, on the other hand, found some of the band songs difficult. Taylor Hawkins joined Fofaira's in 1997. Alanis hired Hawkins as her touring drummer in 1995. During her 18th month tour in support of Jago Lito Pio, he provided musical support to the singer. Hawkins said, It was a lot of fun. She gave me a lot of leeway to pursue my goals. There was a lot of pressure on her because it was literally the biggest album of the year. She had to learn to lead on the job, which wasn't easy. However, it was one of the most enjoyable periods of my life. But as luck would have it, fate intervened. Hawkins met Dave Grohl of the four fighters, and it was a life-changing experience for both of them. Grohl compared the experience to meeting a long-lost brother. We just thought we were brothers from another mother, Hawkins said. It was instantaneous, so much so that Alanis Morissette just asked, what are you going to do when Dave asks you to be the drummer in the Four Fighters? The drummer of Four Fighters abruptly left the band in 1997. Hawkins made the decision to contact Gore and set up an audition with him. Gore knew Hawkins belonged in the band after only three seconds of playing. The drummer said, he had to be sober to play shows. Hawkins claimed that he had to perform sober. Hawkins' father said girl had to drink a little bit before performing with the four fighters because he was nervous on stage. That was impossible for Hawkins to accomplish. Hawkins explained, he just drinks, which I'm sure helps. I'm not going to be able to play drums while doing that. I can't do that. He said when asked if he had to be sober to play the drums by Rolling Stone. Rest in parking.